Hey, I'm Tatiana with 10 Minute Tasks. In today's video, we will be organizing this closet. Really, it depends on you on how you're gonna organize your closet. You can watch for entertainment purposes, maybe a motivation, but ultimately you're going to organize your closet the way that it works for you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is give you a tour of the closet and why I'm putting each thing in that specific place. We have a shelving area, which up top I put a candle and our photo albums. On the second shelf, I have my son's diapers and his socks and underwear in a packing cube. In the right metal basket, I have my husband's socks and underwear. And in the left metal basket, I have my socks, underwear, and bras. If I had more hangers or drawers, I definitely would organize this closet differently. The first thing we do when we get to a place is we unpack. We have our suitcases right here. When I empty the suitcases, I open them up some people open up their suitcases on the bed and i just think you know your suitcase has been around and putting it on a place where you sleep i don't think it's as sanitary when people move around a lot there's potential for bed bugs so make sure when you get to a new place just check the bed anyways this is way off topic but let's get into what we do with the suitcase after i've emptied everything completely zip everything I also snap it back into place like that and then I'll close it it's easier to close like this okay and then I'm going to put it into the closet with the handle on the outside so I can grab it easier just like that so then if I want it I can just grab the handle right here Okay, and we all have different suitcases in all different colors. I think that's super important if you're traveling a lot with your family is to have your suitcases different colors and also col colors that are different from everyone else too. You don't want black or something very gray or dark green or anything like that. You want bright colors. Like this one, for example, I would say is on the more common side, so I wouldn't recommend this color, but colors like blue and a, and a bright shiny burgundy red I think are good colors everywhere we go it's a different setup so these are my husband's clothes with the exception of Mark's jacket here right now pants and jeans right here we have tank tops and we have regular shirts color-coded and then we have collared shirts and then in the back, we have jackets. There's things that I wasn't able to put on a hanger. I have so many hangers. I actually grabbed all the hangers from the whole house. We have way too many clothes. We don't have the right hangers in here. Our son has very little clothes. And so these big adult hangers are too big. So the top shelf for our son is shorts, pants and jeans, casual shirts, dress up shirts and all pajamas. Okay, so these are my husband's shorts, which are on my side of the closet, but that's okay. We only have so much room up here and we're trying to separate each of the clothing items by category. And so if his category is still, is going into this area that looks like my space, it's okay because at least we have the categories up on top this way and then we have a hers and his side of the closet where the hanging clothes go i have my husband's casual shirts here and his shorts and then these are my shorts and then these are my tank tops and then i have my pants on hangers i don't have enough hangers to have one set of pants on each hanger, which I think looks so much better. If you have to put two pants on one hanger, it it works. It doesn't look that bad. And 
it still hung so you can see what kind of pants you have and I have also a set of pajamas on the same hanger which will make it easier for me to grab my pajamas at night okay and then I have my bathing suits which are also sharing a hanger and then I have a tank top right here which actually should go up into the tank top area so if I do some laundry and I have another shirt that requires a hanger, I would probably switch it out for this one. And then I have my regular casual shirts. I have my collared shirts, mini dresses. And then this is kind of a mini dress too. And then this is a mini dress. This is a, a longer dress longer dress so as the dresses get longer I'm putting them further towards the back and then I have a nice light sweater but inside sometimes it gets cold with the AC so I like a little chunkier of a sweater and then I have a jacket and this jacket is for all weather types and it actually gets really small so I love these jackets and um, this one is actually really long too. So it's even warmer when packing or putting things away with a toddler is just make sure everything on this, the level where they can reach is okay. You know, if they mess it up, whatever, you know, you can fix it up. But if it's something that may be dangerous or something that is very sentimental to you, be sure to keep it up high. This is something I don't want our son to get into, so I put it up top here, which isn't really matching the category. These books could actually probably slant. Can they slant? Yes, they can slant, and then I can put the candle right there. I'll put the sunscreens and the bug repellent right there. I think that looks better, and it's out of the way from our toddler. I like this setup better. And then this part right here, I have a diaper setup. So then we got diapers here, socks and underwear right here for our son. And then I have all the socks in here for my husband. These are all socks and underwear in this. I love these baskets because they're multi-use. My basket, I have my bras, my underwear, and my socks. Okay, so down here, I have some towels or blankets or um, in Brazil, we call them kanga, which is like a strong or just a little blanket and some beach towels. I have picnic blankets right here. And then I have a book for Mark. It's called Dear Little Virgo. Hey, so that's how I would keep our family closet organized. Of course, you would probably do it different. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace.